Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. Welcome back to Smitty Reacts. And here we are on day three of Mamamoo Week. And yo, I've already got two very special videos planned up. Um, I made a post about them yesterday. Um, video one uh, is gonna be Aoop. Sounds like a very cool uh, name to do a song. <laughs> and the second song is gonna be Stormy Night. Um, definitely, definitely excited to check out both of these songs and just kind of seeing uh, what they have to bring to the table. Um, the third song. Did I say third song? Yeah, I want to do a three. Oh, this is going to be a third day, three song extravaganza. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm doing three songs in this video. And this one is for Moonbule. Happy birthday to one of the members of the group. And um, what I'll be doing is a video that actually I think came out uh, a couple days ago in celebration of her birthday. So, hey, I'm here to check it out. So with that being said, um, just a couple of things for the video. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start dropping. Well, you already I've been doing this for a couple of videos already. I'm going to start putting timestamps um, just throughout the video. Um, one to start in the mark of it. Um, then the other one's just at the start of the videos and then one for my final thoughts. Um, just to make it a little easier to navigate through the video if it ends up being a longer one um, Especially something like this right now. I've got three videos coming up, <laughs> you know, and then the second thing of course is just what I like to do um, Which is as the songs play I might pause the video um, That way I get a chance to you know talk about the song talk about the video um, get the meaning um, I also picked lyric videos on these. Thank you for everybody that suggested as such um, on my first and second day <laughs> and uh, I went to the official videos um, I made sure I've got lyrics ready to go. So that way I can kind of like talk about the meaning of the songs as I go along it as well. Um, and then of course, if you're not a fan of pausing through the videos, uh, what I'll do is I'll link back to the Mama Moo pages that way you can watch the videos all the way through, all the way through, uninterrupted. Just, you know, without me. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it still hurts. It still hurts my feelings. You know, it's all right. <laughs> it's cool um, because if you check out the videos individually, you'll link back to Mama Moose page, which helps out them. Um, they've gotten millions of views at this point on these videos, but still the algorithm of YouTube always likes to see likes. It's just what it is. They want to see page engagements and so forth. So speaking of which, if you find it in your heart, <laughs> go on and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Share this thing around to all your friends and your families and let them know that there's a new Moo Moo on the, on the prowl. Because <laughs> uh, in the last, uh, not only this this week, but also my other videos in the playlist, I am slowly but but surely becoming a Mama Moo fan. Like, I really am. I, I like what they bring to the table. I like the creativeness in the lyrics, you know, the tongue-in-cheek stuff and the, and the other stuff that I've seen so far. So she'd be pretty fun to wrap this week up here in the next couple of days. So at any rate, let's get to the start of the video. Song number one being Aoop. This is the, I believe the official music video. Make sure I've got it queued up here. And uh, let's uh, check it out. From side to side, just look, don't touch. Everywhere I go, I get the feeling. We got to do go, she's under. So, so you tag on my little monster. That call you got to be killed. I'm my way, make a thing go. I eat chicken, they touch it, I don't talk to me. You're a king, you're a king, you're not your father. I'm 
gonna pause for just a moment. Uh, one, I like this kind of kind of vibe to the song. Like, and the visuals are kind of cool. Like, dude's just kind of in the chair, this kind of thing, and you got these beauticians kind of floating around him, and uh, you know, he's got the. I don't, it's a kind of a collage of styles because, like, it's almost like a '50s '60s doo-woppy kind of vibe. But at the same time, I'm looking at the background and my dude's got a high top fade, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which I don't believe happened in the 60s. That was more like, you know, what is that? Mid 80s, mid to late 80s, something like that. You know what? Because I used to have that haircut <laughs> at one point. Uh, now, in terms of the song, you know, it's a, it's a nice little, it's a cool little bop. But the main thing I like is the singing. Like, I definitely hit this, the presence behind the singers. Um, all the girls so far sound good and the visuals are are, are bright and they kind of pop out at you from here so you kind of get that almost almost comic book kind of style to it you know like or, or I, I guess you could say comic book you know very very vibrant and kind of in your face kind of color palette to it so i think that's kind of neat so i'm gonna rewind just a little bit and let's check out a little bit more but see that see this right here kind of cool but yes, sir, ain't nobody got time for this. Just look, don't touch. Every time you come a little closer, no shimtan so he can't go. Is that a common no man touch it for that tumble? Jaman cheat or joy in the jewel bowl. gotta pause i like the uh the advice for the fellas you know like treat the ladies the right <laughs> i like that so far so so far so good you know def definitely a, a different kind of vibe different kind of song i, I like the horns and the arrangement on here too like uh, just the way that it's put together is very nice it's, it's definitely a different kind of sign sound like definitely retro inspired but definitely like its own thing in its, as well which I, I definitely appreciate um also for those that are wondering this video is brought to you by the letter b for bourbon <laughs> let's get back to it <laughs> oh no he's missing oh no <laughs> all right i gotta pause right there uh just speaking from a male point of view uh i've had i've got close razor shaves and stuff before um that's one thing that always kind of makes me a little nervous it's like you know you got somebody shaving you and they may cut you a little bit. And I saw that in the video and I was like, oh no. <laughs> but no, that was a fun song for real. Like pretty straightforward, you know, just kind of tongue in cheek kind of song where it's like, you know, don't do the cliches type of things to, to uh, talk to your girl or talk to your woman, you know, just maybe do something a little creative. So I, I like that anyway. So yo, let's get to song number two.
on Mama Moo Week, day three. This song is called Starry Night. Let me pull it up here real quick. Definitely intrigued to see what this one's about. And let's go. pause off the top on this one one it's a definitely a, a different vibe and energy from the previous song to this song um this one seems a lot more contemporary sounding um even though you still have like the uh, acoustic guitar kind of thing going on but definitely start contrasting visuals like this is definitely more um kind of a more contemporary kind of sound and feeling to it compared to the kind of more retro vibe on the previous song but i like them both like just shows more of the versatility of the band so far, so of uh, the group, of all the people involved. <laughs> so let's get back to it. Got a pause right there. I like that. This is a definitely more, um, almost a more sophisticated kind of sound to it. You know, in my opinion, like uh, in terms of the vocal arrangements, you definitely hear more um, of the individual girls tones and such. Um, and the different like vocal ranges, you've got anywhere from the deeper, like kind of huskier tones all the way up to kind of the soaring, like altos and um, even some soprano mixes in there. Um, along with some really good harmonies are going on here as well. So like, I definitely um like that uh more Cause i'm more of a i love like all types of music don't get me wrong but i like complex music where you have like different sounds and stuff being blended together different harmonies being blended together you know and and the and how they can creatively push that out and this song kind of gives me more of those kind of vibes where you know i'm, I'm listening more intently you know just kind of seeing where they go with it so like this song right here might be my favorite song so far, <laughs> so far. Anyway, let's get back to it. <laughs> Let me alone. Starry 
right there i like this right here. this is kind of more of a, a chill club kind of vibe too you know i could see myself sitting back with my good friend the bourbons you know sitting at the bar this song kind of kicks in and over your head and i'm just like nodding my head you know i might see people over behind my shoulder or something dancing or whatever having a good night a couple of night like nice cocktails you know like that's the kind of song i hear this like that's something that's sophisticated where it's like you could put this on in like essentially most social settings and still be cool, you know. And you hear that dun 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 da 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 da. It almost reminds me of um, almost a Jennifer Lopez kind of sound. Is the way I could describe it, like that waiting for tonight. Oh, uh, I think that's Jennifer Lopez. Da 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 da. My arms. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Jennifer Lopez. Anyway, <laughs> or one of those type of singers, you know, like just some some nice, con you know, contemporary backdrop music. You know, but if you listen intently, you can actually hear some really good stuff going on. That's what I get out of this song. I like that. Let's go. That's what's up. That's what's up. That was Starry Night by Mama Moo. That was pretty good. I like that song a lot. I really did. You know, just with, um, you know, just having some difference in, in style, different approach to the music, but at the same time, like offering something a lot more contemporary than the previous song. So I, I like I, I like that approach. And like I said, it just shows more signs to the group. So this last song is a birthday song to Moon Buell. And uh, it looks like it was released, um, shoot, yesterday. Uh, the name of the song is A Miracle Three Days Ago. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's see what it's talking about. Um, I read up on it a little bit in the comments before I started it. And it looks like it's kind of a, a fun song as well. Like where she's talking about um, Christmas being, you know, the, the day that Jesus was born and the celebration of Christmas and so forth. When she's saying the name of the song is A Miracle Three Days Ago, she's talking about her birthday because I guess she was born on the 22nd and not the 25th. So that her day was a miracle of her coming in. So I, I like that kind of, you know, kind of fun thing coming, you know, a little, little comedy, a little tongue in cheek action, but we'll see. Let me see what the song's talking about though. So here we go. Last song of day three of Mama Moo Week. Moon Buell's happy birthday song. Let's go. In no charm, you bum it. Mom, so keep in it. You'll Christmas in it. Chobel did a mare. Christmas in Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 
하루 종일 너의 하루에 머물고 싶은데 그 맘을 담아 너에게 Had to pause for a moment. One, let's talk about her voice for a moment. Just for a hot second. I love the soulfulness in her voice. I really do. I like the way that she's coming across on, on the mic and, and the mic presence and so forth. And I love that that kind of, you know, lower tone of, of singing and the fact that it's good. Like, it's very clean, you know, not overly produced sound that I can hear. And, and I like it a lot. I really do. Now, in terms of the production, obviously, it's a Christmas tune. So you have, like, you know, jingle bells in the background and, you know, piano players and all that stuff. Just to kind of give you that kind of classic Christmas type of vibe and then with the video the video looks pretty fun because it's like you get home and you know it's christmas time or whatever you walk home and it's an empty house but you got decorations around you and you're just kind of you know maybe in a little playful happy spirit so you start walking around the house and start having fun you know <laughs> so even if nobody's there you can still have fun um even if you're home alone on the holidays or whatever so i i, I like that just from the little uh minute and a half that we're in this thing so far <laughs> so i'm gonna rewind just a, just a tad and uh check that out again let's go Pause right there. That was funny. Because that'd be me. Like, I'm thinking it's my birthday. I'm about to turn up. Presents, cake, all that stuff. Reality kicks in. I'm like, yo, ain't nobody coming through. Let me just order a pizza real quick. <laughs> this is grown man stuff. I'm just going to have Domino's drop me off something nice and just chill by myself and watch TV. You know, that'd be me on the holiday. Shoot, that is me. That's, that's, whatever. <laughs> but I like that in the video. That's pretty fun. Very cool. Yo, that was Moon Buell. Happy birthday, Moon Buell. Hope I said that right. <laughs> uh, a Christmas miracle from three days ago. 
Uh, for which, like I said, for, I read up a little bit just in the comments just to make sure I had the right video pulled up. And they're like, yo, her birthday was like a couple days ago. And it's kind of a, a, a Christmas song release. So that was pretty neat. That was pretty cool um, that they let her like kind of go off and do her own song. Um, also, as a cool little birthday celebration thing, too. Um, that being said, this really, really wants me, makes me want to listen to each of these girls individually on solo projects and just kind of get a better appreciation of what they do separately. Um, because that song on its own let me thinking like, why is this girl in a group? <laughs> you know, like she's talented enough and a good enough singer on her own, in my opinion, to go out and sing on her own. Like I'm not saying that she wants to or has to, you know, because obviously in the group, she's great. It's not that at all, but it's like if you pulled her out of the group and put her on her own, and I'm sure you could do this with any of them, they would have successful careers as solo artists, you know, from what I can tell. Because you got triple threats in all of them rappers, singers, dancers, you know, maybe quadruples. I think some of them, one of them said they're acting as well. Um, they've got choreography credits to some of them. Like all these girls are, are multi talented ladies, like, you know that's that's awesome to me where you have like honestly you, you formed like voltron <laughs> in these groups you know you got super powerful parts all put together you know and you've built like a super group you know which is which is great you know because you know the group can't it's hard for a group like that to fail um but still it's really cool like to follow individual story arcs even of a team you know of superheroes like if you have the avengers or or those type of groups, or the Justice League, or whatever the case is, you know, sometimes it's cool to follow Aquaman's story, because he has his own adventures, or, or Superman on his own, or whoever, you know, like, you get to follow their individual things, you build character that way, and then they can come back together, you know, in a group, and go for it, so, anyway, that, that's, that's my loose comic book tie-in to Mama Moo, <laughs> so, but anyway, I appreciated all three of those songs, those songs were great, um, thanks for everybody in the comments that suggested those songs, um and if that was you thank you thanks for doing that i appreciate that like i said i'm just building up more of a catalog for myself for mama moo so that way i can go back um i'm gonna add all these of course to my playlist and i'll be able to go back through and not only rewatch the videos but you know add these songs to my playlist so i can listen to them just in my casual time you know that way if i want to put something on while i'm you know cleaning the house or whatever the case might be i'm like yo let me just click that playlist up and see what's cracking so anyway so that was day three of mama Moo week three songs you know hopefully you guys like them hope you enjoy them if you do go on and put that like button up there share this thing around leave some comments below let me know let me know what you guys think about it you know I, i'm definitely wanting to hear about it or if you have more information on any of these songs um things that i should know or other things that i should check out in the next two days of mama Moo week let me know all right so anyway, I'm going to get up out of this video. Um, that being said, y'all take care of yourself. Be kind to one another. And guess what? I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow on the next installment of Mama Moo Week. Day four is on the way. <laughs> all right, y'all. Y'all take care of yourself. All right. Peace.